guys, what's up? It is your friendly neighborhood Ibuguz here, back again with another episode of Enter the Gungeon, where I don't really know which character to play, because I already beat the game once as Hunter, so I want to play one of the other three. Uh, I don't really have a huge preference for any of them. Mm, maybe the pilot. Pilot's pretty fun. Let's go pilot. So pilot, uh, you know, just like all the other characters, has his own set of starting shit. Um, the biggest benefit of the pilot, in my opinion, is this right here. So you get cheaper prices at the shops. The active is pretty decent as well. Uh, you have a chance to pick locks, which is nice. It can save some amount of keys. Um, and if you have zero keys and you try and pick the lock of a chest and it fails and then you can't open it, it's not the end of the world. You just break it, right? Which is what you would have done if you didn't have trusty lock picks. Um, and then increases the ammo capacity and maximum ammo counts is pretty decent. He does not have a second starting weapon. Uh, which is totally fine, because his starting weapon's pretty good. It has a pretty big magazine. Um, how many? I can't count that. It's like eight. Nice. I'm a counting god. Alright. So, one of the things you'll probably notice right away is that this weapon is fairly inaccurate. Which is totally fine. You don't need a weapon to have a super accurate spread for the weapon to be pretty good. Also, I never really talked about the kicking over tables thing. Like, they block bullets, but they have health, so they can get destroyed. Uh, it's pretty valuable. The trouble is that, like, I always forget about it, <laughs> right? Like, so many times I'm, like, in a situation where kicking over a table is really good to do, and I just forget that I can even do that. Forget it's even an option. So one of, the, one of the key differences that I didn't really touch on in the last video, I mean, I, I touched on it a little bit, but I wasn't super specific about it. Um, there is actually a very clear difference between controller and mouse control in this game, which is kind of interesting. It's kind of unique. Um, I mean, it's a shooter game, right? And generally the way shooter games tend to work is like, if it's a console shooter game, there's ridiculously heavy uh, auto aim and stuff like that, right? Like, th there's ways to make it so that your controller doesn't feel awful to use. Um, and that's true of, I believe, literally all console shooters. Some have much less of their auto aim than others. Uh, for example, I believe... No, Halo's is pretty, is pretty strong. Call of Duty's is pretty strong. I don't know of an example. Those are really the only console shooters that I've played. <laughs> um, hey, water barrel. Uh, right away. That's nice. Huh. Nice. Um, and then for PC games, if you have auto-aim in your PC shooter, uh, people will call your game trash and garbage, and it's uh, appealing to casuals. Because, realistically, yeah, I mean, you got a fucking mouse. Like, <laughs> how hard is it to just aim with a mouse, you know? I mean, it, you know, it might not be the easiest thing in the world, but, like, that's part of the skill cap of a shooter game, right? Is aiming. If shooter games didn't have the skill cap of aiming, then what do you do? Um, and for games that do uh, any sort of cross-platform compatibility, um, they tend to just side with like PC standards, where there's just like not auto-aim period, and console players of course kind of get owned, which is generally okay, but of course in a single-player game you don't have to worry about that, right? You don't have to worry about people having uh, imbalances, so it kind of it, it caters to both, but at the same time, that kind of imbalances the game itself very slightly. Um, they're not super huge, right? The balance or the the changes. It mostly just comes down to auto aim, um, but there's also, like I said, the fact that uh, with controller, I I believe you have better than eight way, so you can roll on you know tighter angles, basically. I believe that to be the case. It's been a long time since I played with controller. I played controller. Uh, right when I got the game, and only for a little bit, and then prob probably like five to ten hours with controller, uh, and then I moved to mouse and keyboard because I was like, yeah, I mean, this just, it feels better. Like, genuinely feels better. Um, so I don't know exactly all of the differences except for auto -win. That's the big one. 
And so, uh, auto-aim, one of the bigger issues is that it works at pretty much any range, which in and of itself is not an issue, uh, except when there's multiple enemies at range, it's really hard, if not impossible, to precisely choose which enemy at that range you're attempting to actually... I'm so glad we got it on episode two. You ready? Bullet. Bullet. <laughs> Uh, bullet. Uh, yeah, it literally says bullet. It's great. Bullet. 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 Table attack rage. I think this makes your bullets stronger after you kick over a table, like temporarily. Something like that. It's okay. Not super exceptional by any means, but it's it's totally alright. I think I will just open this chest. We got enough keys. Um, you know what? Never mind. I'm gonna explore more. Uh, and then we'll consider opening that chest after we're done exploring because it'll depend on the other chest and depend on the boss and all that sort of stuff. There's a lot of information that that I haven't uh, had access to yet, so I'd like to acquire those pieces of information before making my decision because of course this requires two keys. So I can't go there and unlock both chests. So. Both are brown. Whew. Okay, let's open this one. It was a gun. So now I'm much more tempted to actually open the other one uh, for a brown tier item. But I think I'll fight the boss first. Oh, there he is. Alright. I think lowercase r is probably better than starter weapon for a boss. Uh, okay, we, we don't need to see this intro again. Bullet, 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 bullet. Also, the reload on it is uh, like a like a text cursor, <laughs> and uh, deleting and re rewriting the R. It's so good. All right, let's get all these little bushes out of the way. <laughs> this weapon's so good. <laughs> it's not genuinely good. It's it's pretty it's a pretty low tier gun. But. It'll it'll do in a pinch. It'll do on the first boss. It's gonna be just a matter of making sure that I don't flub one of these dodges. Yeah, let's just blank that. I got a pretty bad spread. I'm gonna blank that again. That spread wasn't necessarily bad. It was just kind of awkward. Alright, not bad. Got the mass around again. Not too difficult. Again, uh, the Gatling Gull's, like, pretty okay. Void Shotgun's actually quite strong, um, and I will consider using it for clearing later. Alright, we gotta we got make some choices here. Uh, we gotta make some choices. Do I want to open this for brown tier item, or do I want to go to the alt floor, and do I want to purchase something? Uh, I don't want trash cannon. It's pretty meh. I guess let's try the lockpicks. How about that? If lockpicks fail, I think I'll go to the alt floor. I think either way I'm going to the alt floor. I'm so good at video games. Alright, c force trash. Um, how do I... It's shift, right? Yeah. Um, maybe it's not trash, but, like, it's pretty weird. It's shift, there you go. I don't know, C4 is C4's, C4's a weird one. I'm not a huge fan. Um, if you could throw it, maybe it would be better. I don't know. And I never explained how recharging on these things works, because, to be fair, I, I don't really think I had one that was relevant to that at any point in the last video. Uh, whenever you, I think, just hit an enemy, it recharges, like, just with a gun. I believe when you connect with an enemy, it recharges. Yeah, it's just hitting. So, uh, this basically means that you should be using them pretty frequently. Uh, I don't recall, do they charge in the background? I will tell you in a moment. I guess I just swapped to C4, and if I was smart, I would look at it. Alright, yeah, it seems like they do. Just based on how my C4 is charged. Yes, they absolutely do. So there's really no reason not to have C4 ready. I believe C4 doesn't cause self-damage, but it may. This is an awful room, by the way. Oh, you fucker! What the fuck? I got robbed! 
I got actually robbed. I'm pissed. I do not like all these trap rooms. Sam, I am. Okay. <laughs> oh god. So that's the same. Ooh, ooh. Ooh. Sorry that I turned into a bird for a moment, but my name is Ubergo, so what did you expect? Holy sh shit. Sometimes when you barely dodge something, right? When, like, a dodge is fucking. Ah, you fucker. Moments away from, from succeeding or failing, the adrenaline is just is powerful, dude. You just gotta let it out. You gotta, you gotta experience something, you know? I'm not a fan of this room, by the way. There's a couple killer rooms on this alt floor. They're not generally not that bad, but sometimes they're they're just terrible. Although I did flub that one pretty bad, I believe. Yeah, potion of lead skin is incredible. I don't recall if shotgun coffee is very good. I want to say shotgun coffee is literally just bonus speed. Um, but I think I'm gonna take Potion of Lead Skin. But I also think I'm gonna take it right before the boss. Just to see if we get something better from a chest or what have you. The use. Not a fan of this. I only got one dude with the C4. So, uh, another thing, um, there's that enemy type that I just killed. I think they're called Veterans. Uh, and Veterans are pretty unique, where... They actually lead their shots. Whew. And there's a couple other enemies that'll lead their shots and stuff, but uh, in general, most enemies will shoot at your current location. Uh, I'm probably not gonna lockpick a green. But here's the bonus thing I'm a jig. I don't wanna take it yet. I wanna take it probably after I kill the boss. So most enemies will just shoot where you currently are. Um, which can still be a problem depending on the specific situation that you find yourself in. Uh, and of course the, the variety of enemies involved. But some enemies will lead their shots and some enemies are literally aim to miss, like the, the twin shot. Which if you played Isaac, you're very used to the twin shot guys being a pain in the ass. Wow, uh, this is potion of like gun friendship. Yeah, all right. So fuck lead skin then. Friendship ended with lead skin. Gun friendship is my new best friend. This aim is awful. All right. Great. Hello. Goodbye, Mushroom. I'm so sorry. So, Potion of Gun Friendship. I guess I should probably explain it. Um, where are you, Mr. Spinny Boy? You're not in a very accessible location, are you? Is there no Spinny Boy? I guess there's no Spinny Boy. I just thought there was, based on the spread of bullets, but I guess none of them were curving. Spinny Poop Boy. Um, Potion of Gun Friendship, I believe, increases both damage and fire rate while it's active. And it's pretty sweet. Potion of Lead Skin, which is the uh, the other thing, the one in the shop, uh, are popping it. Yes, it is indeed both shot speed, and it should be damage. I'm fairly certain it's damage as well. Um, it feels like it's damage based on how fast these guys are. Yeah, it totally is. So, Potion of Lead Skin is also pretty sweet. Uh, what it does is it makes you basically invincible to bullets, to bullet when it's active. And not only are you invincible, it'll reflect bullets. Get out. Um, to nearby enemies. Whew, that was tight. That was incredibly close. I probably should have swapped weapons for the Void Shotgun for that, to be honest. Void Shotgun is very good uh, for general damage purposes. I also probably could have kicked that table and that probably would have saved me a little bit of a headache. Not really certain. It's a weird situation. 
Um, but yeah, so lead skin will actively reflect bullets that hit you, because they won't deal damage to you, uh, back towards nearby enemies, which is pretty sweet. Uh, lead skin is, is very strong. But Potion of Gun Friendship, I think it might be the strongest space bar. I don't know. It's been a minute since I've played this game, so I don't remember all the space bars. But of the ones that I can think of, uh, as, as far as space bars that are consistently used, uh, as in used greater than one single time, because there's a couple that are single use that are very good. Uh, this is one of the hell rooms, by the way, in case that wasn't abundantly clear. But it's alright. We're, we're past the bulk of it, so we're home free. Should I have swapped the void shotgun? Why, yes! Yes, I should have, you astute viewer. Thank you for reminding me that uh, I should consistently be switching to void shotgun on difficult rooms rather than using the starter weapon uh, forever. This is a very good point, and genuinely very good advice. The issue is, uh, I'm a very stubborn human, and I get stuck in my ways. And one of those ways is attempting to preserve as much ammunition as physically fucking possible just forever. A free blink. I'll take it. I believe there's a spinny guy in this layout way at the top. Or maybe he spawns in? Or maybe I'm thinking this is a different layout than what it is. Yep, it's just different. <laughs> it's just a different one than I thought. Yeah. Alright, we're good though. We're good. I've taken a lot of damage so far that I'm not very happy with. But that is okay. Damage is fun. As long as we can recover that health, damage is totally fine. Alright, so this is absolutely one of the ones where you lockpick it. I'm so good at lockpicking. I don't want this, though, is the issue. So, it just throws poison. Which is like, yeah, I probably don't want to actually poison yourself. Alright, good. We got two ones that I care, that I care about. So I am going to buy this key. I'm probably just going to buy this. It should be more speed, right? Yes, okay, it totally is. Perfect. And then I'm just going to go here, and we're going to open this here box. And probably go for the boss. Because um, the boss should be like one or two rooms away. Yes, please. RPG is uh, very nice. Very, very nice pickup. So it should either be this room or the next one, I think, is the boss. It's this one. It's not. It looked like it. the wall looked so similar. Who would have expected that a wall at the bottom would look similar to a wall at the... Fuck off! He shot too much. <laughs> Alright, you know what? Let's, let's try and get better. So the issue I have with Void Shotgun is that you chew through ammo real fast. And this is true of a lot of clear weapons. Or not even clear weapons, just general weapons. Um, you chew through ammo real quick. Uh, wow, we're actually a lot far farther from the boss than I thought. This is a larger floor than previously anticipated. My apologies. I know, you guys were counting on me, and I, I let you down. Wow! Okay, this is, like, way not, not what I expected at all. Nice. Uh... So yeah, Void Shotgun, it just chews through ammo pretty fucking fast. Alright, so what are we going to do? We're probably going to go these two. Yeah, that seems reasonable. <laughs> We're just going to potion right away. You've already seen this intro. So this is the power of explosions, by the way. As you can see, it destroys bullets and makes it way easier to dodge just generally. Pardon? Keep dodging. Good. Um, do I keep with the RPG? Yeah, I think so. You know what? Let's actually go void shoddy. 
it should theoretically charge up our potion faster. Which means Bo Blobby Lord is fucking owned here. Nice. Alright, no damage, which should mean no... Uh, I mean, I don't think there's a mass around, right? Yeah, no. Okay. Scope is good, though. Sorry, laser sight. It's, I guess, similar to scope. They're not the same, though. My mistake. Uh, I'm gonna shoot him. Alright, so, great. Before I leave, of course, I do need to grab that, so let's go grab that. Am I gonna spend my money on a half heart? Tough call. It shouldn't be necessary. But I think I may. Nah, fuck it. I'm, I'm a maniac. I'm good. I don't need to buy anything. And let us go. Uh, yeah, no blanks. We're good. So now, if I take any damage, I lose this. If I take no damage before I find the altar, I can actually place this on the altar and go to the second alt stage, which would be pretty good. So basically, it comes down to me not taking damage. Let's, uh, let's just do that. Then. Should be easy enough, right? Alright. I fucked up bad. Yeah, alright. Good job, me. Continuing the fucking of up. Jesus Christ. It, it, literally, I can go without taking a single fucking hit to the dragon. Right? I can do that. I've done it. And using basically just a starter weapon. But the fucking goddamn second. The absolute instant that there's any pressure and I need to not get hit for fucking, like, three rooms. I just get fucking hit right away. <laughs> God damn it, dude. That's why you just need to not think about it, right? Like, that's the trick, is just never actually use your brain. As long as the only thing you trust is your grundle, you're, you're fucking Gucci, my man. Good job, me. Good fucking roll, me. You fuck. Worst part is, if I just shot him one extra fucking time, he was dead sooner and wouldn't have even been fucking it. Ah, the garbage giga. Look, basically what it comes down to is there are two types of people in this world. Those who think strictly with their grundle, which is also known as the ABC, the ass ball connection, or the gooch if you prefer. Um, and those who fucking mess up a lot. Those are the two types of people. Hang on. We're gonna RPG him. RPG! Great. Good. Good job. Great. Ah! Don't you fucking escape! Yeah, get fucked! Alright, we're good. I'm in not using Potion of Gun Friendship. I can answer that. I'm fucking dumb. Pretty much always the answer to any question. <laughs> so, also, I am... You can hold, and it'll shoot slower than physically possible. But if you spam click, it shoots at max rate. So, that's... In case you're wondering, you might be able to hear my... my left mouse button clicks. I'm not sure if you can, uh, but they're incredibly frequent. <laughs> Speaking of frequent mouse button clicks, though, um, I had this weird thing happen to me where my mouse, which is very nice, by the way, if you're curious about what mouse I'm using, it is a... Oh, fuck, what is it? <laughs> uh, it's some, like, not not super well advertised company I mean I must they must be pretty well advertised that I was able to hear about them but um, and I can't remember the fucking name but uh, oh god I got I'm gonna look it up hang on I'm totally gonna look it up I have a box somewhere maybe I'll just say it on the next video how about that well leave a little nugget for the next video what do you guys think about that one <laughs> See, that's the secret to viewer attention, right? Is advertise something that really doesn't fucking matter. 
for the next video. Just so people are like, oh man, well, I, well now I have to find out what my fucking mouse he has. But anyway, the scare that I had with this mouse, which again, this mouse is great. Right, it's very, it's a very good mouse. Goodbye, poor little casing. Hey, I have the sex number as my money. Isn't that great? So, the, the thing that happened with my mouse was I, I was using left click a bit, you know, as you do, and suddenly it just ceased working. Left click just wasn't clicking. Um, and I got real scared. I was like, oh, fuck, man, I'm gonna have to get a... I'm gonna have to get a new mouse, right? Like, I'm gonna have to get a new fucking mouse. Um, the nice thing is, this mouse actually has, like, an auto-click button, uh, which I never use, ever, because I can't really think about the purpose of not an auto-click, a multi-click. It clicks, like, three or four times in rapid succession. Um, I don't recall what this is. Antibody. Heals up. Oh, okay, whenever I, uh, pick up heals, it heals more. Sure. So yeah, it clicks, like, two or three times in rapid succession. Um, the good news is, though, this mouse has drivers, which you don't know that you're gonna miss mouse drivers until you use a mouse that doesn't have them. Um, or not a mouse, not drivers, software. Whatever. <laughs> um, it has software, and so in the software, you can actually remap literally any mouse button to any mouse function, which is awesome. Uh, and this mouse also has a bunch of, like, MMO buttons and stuff, which I similarly don't really use. Um, but yeah, so I was able to mouse the multi-click, which is just to the left of the left click, on its own little little mound. Uh, I just mapped that to left click. But, then for no fucking reason at all, by the way, Hegemony Carbine is great. Um, for no reason whatsoever, it just started working. The left click just suddenly began to work again. <laughs> Why? I don't fucking know. I'll never know. I literally, I couldn't possibly know. Alright, so let's go that, and we still have enough shots in Void Shotgun for it to be pretty good. I think I'm gonna start with Void Shotgun and Potion of Gun Friendship. Alright, the Gorgon is sometimes awful. It'll depend. There's a couple spreads that suck. Um, for the most part, though, should be okay. Might take one or two hits. I would obviously prefer to take zero. Oh, you rat fuck. Alright, this is one of the spreads that, uh, or one of the attacks that can potentially... Well, I mean, if you just walk into it, I guess. Yeah, by the way, you look away from that attack and you get frozen. You can also roll through it. Um, but literally one day, I just, I was like, wait, fucking Gorgon. Like, I, all I gotta do is not look. <laughs> right, like... Medusa doesn't freeze people in her proximity, she freezes people who fucking look at her, you know? That's what, she, that's what happened, so I just looked away and what do you fucking know, it works. <laughs> I felt like a goddamn genius, by the way, when, when I figured that out. Um, I mean, we're, we're alright. I'm never using Phoenix because it's pretty bad as a weapon, generally. But, uh, the Gun Knight armor, this, is incredible. Uh, let me just double check real quick. I just bought the key. Um, the super soaker, mega dowser, whatever. Uh, it just shoots water. It pushes and shoots water. Has niche applications. Uh, if you are the robot, it can be okay. Snowballer shoots snowballs. Reasonable knockback. Medium damage. Probably slightly worse than the phoenix as far as damage is concerned. And the phoenix is pretty bad as far as damage is concerned. Still better than the default weapon, I think. Um... But yeah, I had no more blanks. Pretty good there. Third floor, let us go. Uh, yep. Yeah. I'm wondering what I want to use for clearing. We could use Hegemony Carbine, so I can show you guys what that looks like. It's a pretty sick weapon. It's not literally the best in the entire universe, but like, the damage it deals is pretty good. The, sh the firing rate is very high, as you can see. Um, damage is above default and accuracy is very very good so it's a solid weapon actually the damage might be very similar to default now that i look at it i think it's very slightly stronger though yeah i think it's i think it's just slightly stronger again i don't know if there's actually a collection of damage and health values of shit anywhere um 
So any any stat based things that I'm bringing up are mostly just based on experience. Also, by the way, there is actually a lore to this game. It's not very in your face. Um, outside of the the pasts. Yeah, we'll just pop a few in here. Real easy. Alright, the Luxon Cannon is similar to the Hammer. The final shot fires out like an Ice Shard, I think. Uh, Blunderbuss is pretty bad. Uh, I think it's it's like a charge shotgun, I believe, right? And then Key, obviously, I would probably want to buy that. I think here I'm probably going to ditch the the Phoenix, and now I need to remember again it's F, right? Yeah, it totally is. Thank you for some dollar e -dues. Um Don't want to ditch anything else. I'm pretty happy with the rest of my weapons. Like, sure, I, I'm not really using the letter R much, but it has niche applications, so I'm, I'm down for it. And who knows, we may come across a gun muncher and I'll be upset if I, you know, sold off all my shit. Alright. This room is pretty... This is a classic-ass room, is how I'll put it. Woo! Nice shot. So those bullets also lead. The, the frogs, they shoot out the bubble... bubble the they shoot out the bubble bullets, and the bubbles block your shots. Um, but when a bubble is popped, then the bullet will fire, and it'll lead. It'll lead ya. Where will it lead ya? Straight to hell! I'd like to kill this little miney boy. You know what? Phrasing is is not my strong suit. I'll just I'll stop talking. I think is the solution. Really, I think the issue is that I picked up boy from Northern Lion, and it's just become such a such a staple of my vocabulary that I just kind of apply it wherever. And it's, it's actually funny, um, pretty recently there was an NLSS, which in case you don't actually know who NL is, Northern Lion, N to the Northern Lion, Northern Lion, um, the NLSS is basically his, his tri trice, thrice weekly uh, show where him and friends play various video games and banter a lot, and it's, it's incredible. But um, there was a bit where Nick brought up you know, one of these days, somebody is gonna say something real fucked up when using the term boy. Because of all the, all the alt, alternate, uh, like, vocabulary that's used on the NLSS, it is certainly going to reach a point where somebody's gonna say something real fucked up. Like... Uh, another great example, of course, is just various things being called something completely different that ends in the the noise e. Uh, it's a very common one. Although that's that's common outside of the NLSS as well. Yeah, let's just pop it open. I don't fucking remember. I think. Okay, this is like the something bun, right? Like a steamed bun. I don't remember what it does though. It's a space bar. Meat bun. Yeah, I think it just heals. I think it's a one-time use that heals. Which, in fairness, it doesn't really fucking matter for me right now, you know? Alright, I'm gonna hope to pick up some ammo relatively soon. I would like for that man to open up, you know? Mostly because us men, we, uh, we're, we're really... By society basically tells us to store emotions deep down inside and not express any sort of negative emotion generally. Um, so I really would prefer for him to open up because I know how psychologically damaging it can be to have to stifle all of your emotions deep down inside for so long. So I would really like him to open up. That or just shoot him, right? Like, I, I would like to, him to open up so I can fucking shoot him and so he dies, but like... Also that first thing. I took the long way, like a doof. Like a dang old doof. Alright, great, man. I was hoping it was the kitty foot ever, man. I got 
three shots. Oh, fuck. All right. Okay. Now we got to do some thonking. This is going to be pretty good. I think it might one-shot the phases. If not, it's very close. It does indeed one-shot the phases. So this is an enemy that I actually, like, I'm shocked I didn't run into before this. Um, but he's, he's a pretty cool one. Totem pole, dude. Right, we're going to use the letter R for some clearing. Oh, hell to the fuck yeah, bud. It's a minigun. The Vulcan Cannon. It does so much damage. It fires so quickly. Yet it is so incredibly difficult. Hey, bud. That's another one of the shop keeps. Um, but it is so incredibly difficult to use pretty much more than once. You, you use it on a single boss for a bit. And then it's out of ammo, and you're just fucking owned. But the good news is, we're just going to start with it. I'm going to give it the, the good old... Oh, fuck. This is one of the newer bosses, I think. I think this was a supply drop boss. Mine Flayer. He's not as bad as Ammo Conda, in my opinion, so I'm cool with it. You'll see his attacks. Um, they're not, they're not too bad. There's one, he, he has an invuln phase, which is fairly common for a lot of bosses. Uh, it's not this yet. I, no, it is. Okay. So this one's pretty neat. Oh, I hit Q. It was just slightly too late. Alright, we're gonna do this. I think this will be the highest damage at this point. Oh, come on! I dodged it! Alright, I hate this game. <laughs> this game sucks. Yeah, that's one of the spooky attacks. Thankfully, I killed him right before it actually, you know, got going, but I took two hits for no fucking reason at all. Oh, well. Uh, that's a pretty bad gun. The 38 special. It shoots pretty fast. I think the damage is relatively high. Here's the blank. I'm never gonna find a secret room at this rate. I mean, maybe I should stop blanking randomly. Alright, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna ditch this right away and get some manana. I'll take it. Um, and I don't really want to buy these guns, so I'm gonna take my lots of manana and be on my merry way. But of course, I would first like to free this shopkeep. Hello. Ha. Yep, okay, cool. We're good. Uh, I guess I don't need to actually walk to it, huh? Okay. Pretty pretty alright with the way that went. Obviously, I would have preferred to take zero hits, but... Eh. Two's not too bad, especially with the Gun Knight stuff. So we're going to have an extra, an extra armor at the start of this floor, so we should be up to two. Yes, indeed. That is bullet. wonderful. Bullet. I would like to use a different gun than bullet. Bullet, bullet. Bullet, bullet, bullet. But. Bullet. Bullet. Oh, come on. He shot the moment he got unfrozen on this. Bullet. 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 Dude, I'm, I'm playing like trash. This is basically what this comes down to. Bullet. Bullet. That's a good pickup. All right, what are we gonna put it in though? Cause this guy's pretty low on the ammunition. This guy's out. And then where's our void shotgun at? It's pretty healthy, right? Yeah, okay. So we'll probably put it in the hegemony carbine and use that for some clearing. Cause it's definitely better than the letter R. Woo, nice dodge. Definitely wasn't luck at all. Nice. Okay, that's that's very good. Extra ammo is so good. I think that's going into the... No, the RPG is actually still pretty good. Yeah, Vulcan Cannon up there. That's alright. Nope, 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 nope. Not today, motherfucker. I took damage because I'm still retarded, but... Not today, motherfucker. No golden skellies for you, dude. God damn, dude. I'm, I'm running into so much damage. This is a problem. Yeah. It wouldn't have been a problem if I was actually able to shoot through the little bouncy boys so I could knock back the grenade, but... Um, what are you again? Dragon's fire gun, I think? Dragon fire. Just dragon fire. And then you shoot, like, in... It's either bursts or fully auto. It's fully auto. Yeah, and those look like... 
fire. Okay. It's pretty good, I think. I'm pretty sure it's a decent boss killer. We don't have, like, a, a super exceptional boss killer or a super exceptional clear gun. We have pretty okay for both, though. Like, we, we have some decent all-arounders, but... Um, you want a little bit, little bit of specificity, you know? We could get the Mega Hand again, or the other one, whatever the other one's called, I don't even... Uh, actually, no, I totally remember. It starts with like an H, maybe? No, I totally don't remember. <laughs> I just want to kill that guy, just so I don't have to worry about him later. I'm do the same to that guy as well. Just stop him, then run him down. This layout can be really awful for the, that enemy specifically. Because, um, like, once he summons a skeleton, he basically can just run and hide as he pleases. And if he hides in one of those corners and you're, like, blocked by the skeleton, it can be hell. Please die. <laughs> Thank you. This layout's not so good. <laughs> I'm not a huge fan so far. I am glad that I found one of my uh, thingamajigs right away. Item rooms. But... It wasn't the best one. That was actually a genuinely good dodge. I'm proud of myself. Whew. Alright, hello. What you got? Ooh, okay. So, the Vertebrae K47 is pretty fucking good. I'm going to take it. Um, I'm not going to use it until the boss, because it's actually a pretty good boss killer. So actually, we have a lot of guns that are strong that I'm not using, so let's actually just start using them. Just, just as, like, filler guns, you know? Spread the love a little bit. So maybe we have some choices when we get to the boss, that sort of thing. I, I don't know. I don't know what the true strategy is, the good strategy, because I'm not one for good strategy in a game that's high execution. Get him. Good job. Still alive. You're still still alive. I might be over reloading as well. That's an issue that I have always run into in shooter games is over reloading. It's not nearly as bad in this game um, as like a first person shooter, like a multiplayer first person shooter. In, in a multiplayer first person shooter, over reloading is is absolutely murder. Oh come on. One of them just wore out, and then the other just fucking exploded. I actually have no idea what the difference is. <laughs> what, what caused one to do that and the other to do the other thing. Okay. We're pretty good on most ammo. Yeah, we'll just, we'll just re-ammo this bo bad boy. I'm stumbling over my words a lot. I'm, I'm so sorry for that. This is a random item. Uh, oh, yeah. The fuck does this do? Metronome. Oh yeah, when you're not missing shots, it gets stronger and stronger. Actually very strong for very specific weapons. Uh, I don't have any of those, but it theoretically is like some additional damage. Or is it like kills or something? I don't remember. There's a way to lose it. I almost got locked in the box, dude. Play well. Actually, is this? This might be... Not health synthesizer. Yeah, it's ammo. It's actually pretty good. Okay, so now, where's our ammo looking? Oh no, it's just kill shit a lot. Okay, cool. So our ammo is pretty good all around. I think I'm just gonna get the RPG and be happy with that. Um, next one, we'll go to Hegemony Carbine. Okay, so it's just as you kill more? I could have sworn it was as you hit more. Like, consecutive hits give you 
stuff. But I guess it's just kills in, in sequence or whatever. Yeah, that one again. All right. I think actually that might be where the other, the last piece of the bullet is. Anyway, uh, time for the vertebrae K to do its stuff. Who do we got? This dude. Um, this guy's similar to the last boss in a couple ways. High Priest is his name, there you go. Uh, he's, he's pretty cool actually. I do like this boss. Although I don't appreciate this too terribly much. I, no, so, you can't go into the, fuck off. You can't go into the hidey hole on, fuck, 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 fuck you. Actual fuck yourself. What the f- Alright, I'm actually getting fucking bothered. Genuinely upset. Alright, it's time to say fuck this weapon. Break out the big gun -aronis. Great, good. Alright, boy, this shit. I'm so surprised that didn't actually hit me. I was so I was so slow on the the uptick there, man. Not a great time to pop potion of gun friendship. What are you gonna do? Stop it! Stop with this set of attacks. Like this is the worst attack. This is the one that's hell. So, unlike the cannon Balrog, you actually aren't allowed to cheese this boss in the hallway. What the fuck? Are oh boy! Don't fuck me. Stop fucking me. I'm just blanking because he's dead. I'm pissed. I'm actually so pissed. I took unbelievable amounts of unnecessary damage on that one. Thank god he gave me all the health back and we got a stinger. So we got our boss killer. Um, you saw the vertebrae K, which is pretty good. Oh! It's when you switch weapons, I think. Maybe. <laughs> yeah, okay. Understood. So more, more stuff on a single weapon. Alright. I think gas mask just makes you immune to poison and stuff. Probably not actually worth picking up, because, yeah, okay, never mind. We're gonna just go. Yeah, we're just gonna go. Because I would like to have a good amount of currency for the final shop to maybe get some last minute supplies before the dragon. In case I play like trash, like I have been this entire time, which seems, you know, arguably just very expected. Stop with the teleporting. I don't appreciate it. Yeah, so this- the weapon gets stronger as you kill enemies with it. And if you ever swap off the weapon, then you lose it. And I think also getting hit might make you lose it? I don't recall. Nope. Nope. Mm -mm. Not today. Fuck off. Oh, this is. I mean, it's it's the most me that there ever has been, really. So, okay. Don't miss the fucking door this time. Get me out. Uh, this guy is actually like spooky as hell. That shotgun boy. These enemies are not too bad. Okay. I <laughs> can't believe I made it through the hammer room without actually getting hit. You! You! Come back! Thank you. I am just gonna take the key. Uh, and I'm gonna fucking ditch my way all the way over here, dude. Oh, come on. Ooh, I almost got hit. Right there. Poifik. Not quite that close, though. There you go. I know his health. Um, this enemy, by the way, they can actually, when they roll, they actually take no damage from any bullets that hit them while they're rolling. So they're actually pretty annoying. I think the lore thing is that they're basically you. Like one of your characters. In the, the Gungeon. So, oh, uh, ooh, okay, I understand what you do now. You jam an enemy. Understood. So this, uh, the metronome, 
Beautiful. Um, is very, very good with, like, clear weapons. Uh, okay, alien engine is decent. Buzzkill, I think, is pretty good against the dragon, right? I think it's actually very good against the dragon. So the buzzkill shoots... Unless I'm missing, messing this one up with the whatever the Meat Boy gun is. Because I think there are two buzzsaw weapons. I think this one is good. It shoots buzzsaws and they bounce off walls and shit. I believe that to be the case. So, yeah. Unfortunately, when you buy a thing, um, that now gets your, your metronome stuff. Uh, heroin is the name of the other mega hand. There you go. I, find, I got there. Nobody was ever at that point thinking, oh man, I really wish Goose could remember what the other Mega Hand clear weapon is. Nobody was thinking that. But you know what? I fucking got there, man. I found my way. Um, but yeah, it shoots buzzsaws that like bounce off walls and shit, and they're, they're automatically piercing, I believe. Um, so the dragon gets fucking owned by piercing bouncy things, because he can get multi-hit a lot in his room. Actually, is there a second boss saw one? Well, now I don't even fucking know. Fuck. <laughs> um, I think I might be thinking of the Brick Breaker. Yeah, I might be thinking of the Brick Breaker. The Brick Breaker is similar. It shoots turtle shells that bounce. Um, but it's like a charge weapon. And that's what makes it different. And that's a, that's a Mario. It's a Mario for you kids. Also, I'm not using Potion of Gun Friendship, because I really don't want to, like, risk not being able to get it back by the dragon. I'd rather just have it right away on the dragon and just fuck him up as fast as possible. Okay. Just some fire, no big deal. So far, so good. Hello. Mm, I don't recall what you are. And I don't really want to give up Metronome to find out. Because I don't think it's a good one. If it is a good one, well, sue me. I, I still have great weapons for the dragon. Like, we're, we're, we're gonna do just fine, probably. Alright, please cease. As quickly as you possibly can. This room is a very, very silly layout. These guys light themselves on fire very easily by walking through the pounders. See, and that's the sort of sentence where I'm very glad I didn't accidentally use the word, um... Boy. <laughs> just, yeah, that is indeed what I thought. Dodge it. Uh, okay, cool. Huh. That's the sort of room that just fucks with my brain so much that I gotta... Gotta take it real slow. Great. All this ammo is, like, very, very convenient for me. So I think we're not even maxed, right? I think once, once you get the... Metronome to max, I don't think it makes a noise on kill anymore, but I could be misremembering very easily. You rat fuck. Well, there goes the metronome. What a good shot. Let me let me replay that shot real quick. Look at this fucking shit. So I was dodging through the thing that was hitting here, and then that bullet floated in this bubble right to this corner to aim perfectly at this angle. Right? If it was, like, probably even, like, a pixel up, it would have just collided with the wall when it aimed that direction. I got fucking owned by millimeters. What the fuck are you? Let's do it. Oh, yeah, guan stones. Bunch of glass guan stones, yeah. Glass guan stones are, um, they're pretty weird. If you take damage, it destroys one. Uh... And then the counterbalance is that they're relatively easy to come by, but, like, also at the same time, they kind of aren't that common. <laughs> so I'm not really so certain about it. 
Um, I don't know. I mean, I guess that is... Yeah, that is the Screlly. Yeah, I don't really like that. Nice roll. So where's Mr. Wizard Man? Well, I'll never know. Oh, I guess he died. Cool. I'll just blow that up. May as well. Gives me another stack of metronome. Potentially has the chance of dropping some currency. Although I don't really know what my plan is for currency at this point. Like, what am I going to do with it? Okay. Dragonfire is actually a lot better than I recall. I probably just wrote it off before because I probably used it on a boss and was like, Hey, it's not killing the boss as fast as my duct taped sling plus. Plus another thing, whatever the fuck the other thing is. Like a BFG or some shit. Great, angry bullets. Or homing bullets. It looks identical to angry bullets. Maybe not literally identical, but very fucking close. I always get them confused. This is not because I'm not familiar with it, because it's been so long. I literally just... I've always had them confused. But homing is still good. Homing is great. Uh, in fact, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to swap to this guy. We're going to lose the metronome, and we're going to hopefully build it up here. Turns out we did not, but... Nice, good job. Okay, well, I have an extra blank for the dragon, which is probably fine. Uh, what will I buy here, if anything? Can't afford the alien engine. I could buy another blank and ammo? 27 plus 41? Sure could. So, what am I getting ammo for? Probably the vertebrae, okay? I'm pretty good on ammo for basically everything. So, it's just going to be a matter of execution, and it shouldn't be too terribly difficult. Let's hope. Let us pray. Yeah, okay, great. This is indeed the weapon I thought it was. Uh, I'm a little upset that I didn't shoot more quickly when I had Potion of Gun Friendship. That's okay. I'll survive. So yeah, he can actually be hit by multiple... Or, he can be hit multiple times from each individual shot. Saw blade. Uh, it just has to bounce off a wall first. Unless they've nerfed it. But it feels like he's dying pretty fast. Alright, what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna swap to the Vulcan Cannon. And I'm gonna blank that. I'm gonna build up a potion. I'm gonna be very liberal with my blank usage. If I don't think I can properly dodge something, I'm just going to blank. Which, of course, is how you always should be using blanks, but, you know, I'm bad. Alright, what are we gonna use on the heart, is the real question here. We don't have an incredible single target gun. Um, yeah, we might just use the Vulcan Cannon. Alright. Woohoo! Thank you, Guanstones. Oh yeah, all right. This was a this was a good choice. This was a very good choice. I'm very glad that I didn't convince myself that maybe Vulcan Cannon's not a great single target on the heart. <laughs> thank you, thank you, me. Good job, me. Great. So we got that mass around. Obviously, doesn't really fucking do anything at the current moment. Uh, we already have this. I guess I'll pick it up because fuck it. Um, and we shouldn't have access to the lich yet. Again, I believe there, there's something very specific about Lich Unlock that I don't recall at all. Uh, but I, th I, I want to say it involves killing your past some number of times or some number of characters or something to that effect, but it might not be the case. Um, and by the way, in case you're curious about the whole killing your past thing, basically you have to unlock that bullet, uh, which we just have one more thing for. And after, after we do that, then we can kill the past. So theoretically, after beating the dragon, we could then go to the event, the whatever the thing is for the pilot. And if we succeed in that event, then the pilot's past is killed. We'll unlock an alternate costume and uh, also a, a new piece of gear, basically. Everybody has a piece of gear that you unlock uh, upon defeating their past. 
My favorite is the one that you get from unlo- or from beating the Hunter's Past. Um, it's another dog. It's a wolf, and it actively seeks out battles. It actively tries to fight and shit. It's great. This, I mean, this run was pretty alright. I'm, I'm cool with that run. It felt good. It went well. Obviously, we didn't quite unlock as much as I was hoping for. I think in the next video, we'll probably go for either Marine or Convict, rather than replay one of these. Duh. Um, probably Convict. I actually like Convict. I'm just picking it now because... You know, something about my uh, small little brain. Is the other dude in here the lock dude? N no? You okay. Oh, yeah, we can get your arm back. I recall that. Okay, well, we have to buy that, and then they'll restock, I think, next time. Or maybe we have to unlock more shit. Where's the other shop dude? Where's the lock boy? Hello? Lockman, I saved you. I don't recall where he is. Um. Uh. <laughs> hmm. Does he? I thought he was a shop dude. And he, he showed up here. Maybe not. Uh, either way, thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. And hopefully you're enjoying the series. Uh, if you did enjoy the video, leave a like, comment, subscribe, do all the good shit. And I'll see you guys back whenever the next video is. I can't keep track of it all. Um, nor do I actually know if, well, when this is going up. It's probably going up. Is the series going up? Probably. Probably. But thank you for watching, and I'll see you later.